Hey team, um, welcome to today's HIT workout. We're going to be following a format where we're going to be doing four different blocks of exercises. We're going to be working for 30 seconds only with a 15 second break between them and alternating between two different exercises in each block. So it's going to be a pretty easy workout to follow along to. Um, there's going to be some uh, various options along the way if you've got equipment or you don't have equipment or if you're pregnant or you're not pregnant or anything else in between. So um, I've got my timer set on 30 seconds of work and 15 seconds of recovery. Um, I've got a weight here, which I'm gonna be showing you a few different options that you can do, um, but let's get into it. Um, let me just admit one more person. Eliza is on. Beautiful. So, um, as I said, we're going to be doing four different blocks, 30 seconds work, 15 seconds recovery. Maybe let's just start with a little bit of a stretch. So, coming down onto um, your mat, coming down into a nice little kindy squat, push those knees apart. And just op opening up through the hips. Just pin myself so I know that you can actually see me. I'll just get a little bit of less, less light. Yeah, that's better. Beautiful. So coming down, drive those knees out, nice tall spine. And then pushing your hips up to the ceiling and take the hands down and keep a softness in your knee. And I just want you to push one hip back behind you, really focusing on lengthening out right from, um, I guess, right from your lumbar spine, all across your glute, into the hamstring, and then pedaling the foot the other way, shifting through the hips, let the whole head hang down. So we're gonna be starting off with two exercises, a half burpee, or a walkout and a sumo squat, either weighted, plyometric, or pulsing. So you've got a few different options here. So I'm going to demo demonstrate both exercises so you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so we're going to be doing half burpee, option number one. Hands come down to the ground. You Drive your legs up towards your hands and you take your hands off the ground and then you drive back, you land into a front plank. You drive up, you land, you drive back. So this is probably the harder option of all of them. Um, obviously working quite a lot through your core. I'm not gonna be doing those ones. Instead, I'm gonna be coming down and doing a walk out plank, walking out, walking back up to stand. So you take whichever option you want. Obviously the idea is you're getting your heart rate up as much as you can. The second exercise is a sumo squat. Option one, make it plyometrics. So you want to have your hands touch the ground and a little pulse up. So you'll end up looking like a little bit like a frog. Um, option two is that you can do this one weighted. Obviously grab hold of your weight. Full range down. Option three is you can come down and just pulse it. Okay. So a few different options there. And obviously you can do the pulsed version without any weight. And trust me, you're going to be working pretty bloody hard anyway. So we're going to be doing three different rounds, three rounds of those two exercises. We're going to be working for four and a half minutes. So getting ourselves ready to start. Oh, my heart rate's up already. All right. So, we've got a five second countdown. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. So, you're either doing a half burpee or a walkout. Please make sure you're taking whichever variation works for you. For the day, go at your own pace, challenge yourself. You can always substitute between them as well. Three, two, 
and one. Good, 15 seconds break. We're gonna come into our sumos. So remember, you've got the option, little pulses, or the other option, make it weighted. I'm gonna do weighted pulses. So we're down, we're driving, we're pushing our knees out. If you want, you can also do full range. Really is up to you, but we're just getting that booty firing. If you need to have come up for a little break between your pulses, do it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, yeah. All right, back into our plank walkouts. Five, four, three, two, and one, or half burpees. So the more you practice that half burpee, the faster you'll be able to really snap those arms up underneath you, push it out, really extend out through those legs. Make sure you're lifting up through the belly in whichever exercise you're doing, hugging the belly button into the spine, lifting through the core. Beautiful, we're gonna come into sumos. So remember, you're jumping, you're pulsing, or you're doing the full range. Your choice, two and one, let's go. If you are pregnant and you're feeling a little bit compromised with your legs out wide, getting any pain through the front, bring your legs back together. Just make this one a normal squat. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. So remember the ideal kit is you go as fast as you can. <clears throat> That's why we're only working for 30 seconds. Last round. Three, two, one, let's do it. Drive out, stand. Really feel those legs underneath you. If we're doing a half burpee, snap it up. 15 to go. Four. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. I've already done half a workout because I carried this dumbbell home from the gym with me this morning. It's a nice long farmer's carry. Tell you what. Two and one. Let's go. So then the last 30 seconds of this block. And then we're going to get into block number two. Push those knees out. Use those legs. If you're jumping, make it quick. Five, four, three, two, one. You! Nice work, team. All right, we're on to our second block, block number two. What have we got coming up? We've got either a step back lunge, easier option. So just stepping back, stepping forward. Of course, you can add a weight to it if you'd like. Option number two is plyometrics. Excuse me, dropping down, shuffling, driving. Cool, get the legs working on that one. Exercise number two, it's partner exercise, is going to be a mountain climber. Option one is to do them slow. So lift and squeeze through the belly, pulling in. Option number two is to do them obviously fast. Still make sure that you're getting the core working. I'm gonna be leaving both of those ones out. And instead, if you're pregnant or you've got any separation through linear alba, I would like you instead to come down onto the ground. And we're going to be coming into a side plank position 
where we're going to be lifting up and doing a clam. Okay, so we're going to be alternating left side, right side, left side, right side. When we go into block two, we are going to be evening up that exercise because we're only doing three rounds. So it's not going to seem even on block number two, but if you're taking that option in block three, we're going to even everything out. All right, so are we ready? So jumping lunges, getting ready to start in three, two, and one. So either jumping lunges, time has started, or the other option there, we're not doing jump lunges, we're doing our step back lunge. I might do just one round of these and then tear it down. <laughs> but you do you. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. So mountain climbers slow or fast for anyone that does not have a compromised core. Otherwise, if you're with me, we're in side plank and we're lifting that leg up into clams. Keep the hips nice and still, core nice and tight, belly button in, really getting those legs working today. 20 seconds. Pull that belly in. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Back up. Step back lunges. Your choice, you can add a weight to this one or continue to make it plyometric. Nice and fast. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Remember, nice and fast is what it's all about. Keep control. Four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Mountain climbers, fast or slow. If you're doing your side planks, come down the other side, hips up. Elbow directly underneath your shoulder, and let's go. So with these clams, you don't want to open up the hip too much. With your mountain climbers, try and make sure you stay down in that nice low plank position. No tent-like bums. No pitching up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Wicked. Last round of lunges. Jumping, weighted, unweighted. You know the options by now. Four, three, two, and one. So you can minimize the impact just by shuffling the feet forward or back rather than trying to jump for elevation. 10 seconds. Come on girls. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Back into mountain climbers or if you're joining me, side plank. We're back on our original side. Five, Four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Lifting out of your waist if you're doing side planks. Push those legs. If we're doing our mountain climbers. Five, four, three, two and one, amazing. Okay, second round, our uh, third round. Here it is, prisoner squats, which you can do weighted, but probably best to do them unweighted just so you can really fly through them. 
You want to step from knee to foot to the other side and then add a little jump in, back down to the knee, back down to the knee and then onto the other side. One foot, then the other foot and jump. If you'd like to leave out the jump, instead when you come up, just a little demi squat and then back down, back down using those quads. Second exercise, it's a plank reach out. Again, if your core is feeling good, you can do this one either on your knees, so with your um, bums slightly forward, squeeze the glutes, belly button lifting, or up on your toes. I'm gonna to demonstrate this one on my knees for obvious reasons, but you wanna lift through the belly and we're marching up through the hands. Okay, one side and then the next. Now, if you did side planks with me before, the first round, we're gonna go back and we're gonna do our left side, our right side glute, because we need to make it even. And then, um, and then we're gonna come forward into our, our front planks. If you wanna keep those side plank planned because you don't feel good in a front plank, then keep that front plank, uh, the side plank. All right, are we ready? Hope you haven't lost anyone. So we're going to be doing prisoner squats. Getting ready, three, two, one. One leg, the other leg. Little jump, alternating sides. You can easily get rid of the jump by adding a squat in. Hopefully those legs are feeling it. Two and one, beautiful. So into our plank, belly button pulls in. If you're pregnant like me, check in on your core. Make sure that you're not compromising that midsection. I'm just gonna finish off my clams on this side. Otherwise you guys are doing that beautiful plank reach out. 20 seconds. So you can easily spot it if you are pregnant and you're putting too much pressure out the front. Your belly will distend, you'll get a little bulge. Four, three, two, one. Which is one reason why I like to train a lot with my top off because I can actually see it. Otherwise you could get a friend or a partner to put your hand on your abdomen and they should be able to feel it as well. Three, two, and one. Sorry, prisoner squats. Coming in, in, and jumping, and then back down. Doing so great today, team. We've got one more block after this. Five, four, three, two, and one. So, front plank, toes on knees, hips down, and we're reaching out. Remember, only you know if you're challenging yourself enough. If it feels too easy, go harder. Work faster. If it feels like you need to back it off a little bit, back it off. You can also, with this one, if you're really struggling to stabilize through your midsection, push right back into a box. Nice long arm, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, last round of prisoners. Oh. Getting ready, three, two, and one. So one leg, other leg, little jump. Other leg, other leg, little jump. Try and stay low. Oh. Try not to pick up your mat behind you either. Four, three, 
two, and one. Beautiful. Coming down, plank reach out. Eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Really focus on extending up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right, so with our next exercise, we're gonna be down into a glute bridge. There's a couple of options or ways you can do this one. Option number one is obviously coming down, just pushing your hips up, make sure the tailbone's tucked underneath you. And then we're just doing little pulses from this position. So really just focusing on that top, top squeeze of the muscle. If that feels like it's a little bit too hard, feel free to change it back into full range bridges up and down. And if you want to really extend the amount of drive out of your legs, elevate the feet and push up and down nice and fast. Want to make sure here that you're keeping your pelvis and your, your core and your spine nice and neutrally aligned. We don't want to arch or flare out through the ribs. Similarly, we don't want to overly tuck our bum either. Want to make sure the glutes are the ones that are working. Then from there, if you have a weight, we're going to be doing a front raise. So make sure but the core is on, you're lifting up and out through the belly. If you do not have a weight at all, um, instead come in and you're going to be doing uh, air boxing or um, shadow boxing, just focusing on driving those arms out, getting the shoulders working instead. So we're alternating between bridges and front raise. So this is our last round team. Let's get ready. Get ready to do it. So come down onto your mat. Five second countdown. Five, four, three, two, and one. And let's go. So you can either do little pulses or you could do full range. You can have your legs up, depending on what you're what you're feeling, what you feel like you need. Make sure that the knees are separated enough apart. Nine second countdown, driving up and down. Four, three, two, one. Coming back up. And we've got our front raises using our weight. So depending on what kind of weight you've got, obviously just moderate how high you're lifting. Three, two, one, belly in, and we're lifting through. You can also change this one to an overhead press. Use those glutes, squeeze them in underneath you, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, weight down. And if you have no weight at all, you were shadow boxing. Nine seconds to start, come down and into our bridge. Three, two, and one. Push those hips up, pulse out through the glutes. You want to be building a nice little bit of heat underneath your tushy. Keep driving those knees out. Beautiful work, team. Doing great. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, rotate back over. Let's get ready for our second round of raises. 
or shadow boxing. Three, two, and one. Let's go. So lifting up and down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Coming back down. Last round. Always nice to get to the end of a workout, no matter how long the workout was for. Three, two, and one. Set those feet. Try and get the feet about as wide as your mat. Pulse the glutes. Drive and push them through. Build the heat, get the bum working. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And then last round of raises. If you are joining me and you're pregnant, be careful on your transitions getting up and off the ground. Make sure you're rolling to the side, just like me. You feel like a little bit of a whale, but it's a lot safer than using those poor old abs that have checked out. 20 seconds. Come on, team. Finish this workout together. 10 seconds to go. 10, 9, 8, 7, my head, 5. Four, three, two, and one. Yes, great job. We are done. Let's have a little stretch out through those glutes. Tuck one leg underneath your seat. Wrap the other leg up and over. And just sit up nice and tall. Try and connect both sit bones to the ground. And then from here, if you're not pregnant, feel free to come into a little twist. If you are pregnant, just focus on that nice, tall seated position. I can add a little lean forward too. We're just wanting to get a nice stretch out through the glutes. Beautiful, so feel free just to feel into this one. Let the heart rate come back down. Amazing. Thank you so much to the girls that joined me live on that workout. Always nice having people that you're training with, whether it's online or not. Sit up nice and tall. Again, change sides if you haven't already. Beautiful. I'm going to end the live or end the recording. <clears throat> Thanks for joining me, girls. Feel free to turn on your cameras if you did join me live. I'd love to see the pretty little faces before you pop off. <laughs>